Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Rootech Talks. This is the tutorial 4 of Groovy language and in this tutorial we are going to learn about few more operators. In earlier tutorial we have learned about arithmetic operators, unary operators, assignment arithmetic operators and relational operators. In this tutorial we will be learning about logical operators, bitwise operators and conditional operators with the logical operators so here to learn about logical operators we will take some variables first we will learn what is logical operators so logical operators generally give us the boolean value that is true or false so if I take variable a is equal to 2 def b is equal to 5 and c def c is equal to say 7 and if i say print and i will ask it whether c is greater than b and c is greater than a And what we will get the answer as true or false. Let's execute this. So we got true because C is greater than B and C is greater than A. If any of this condition is not fulfilled, then we will get the answer as false. For example, now here C is greater than a it's not less than a so if i say here c is less than a and if i execute now it will give me false why because one condition is true but the other condition is false but here what we are asking both if both the conditions are true then give me true otherwise give me false if we execute this we get false similarly or operator is there in logical operators so or is indicated by two pipe symbols so here now we are asking if C is greater than B or C is less than A so any one of the condition is true then it will give us true otherwise it will give us false but here one condition is true one condition is false it will give us true so we got the ans answer as true. Now I have done changes here as C is equal equal A and C is less than B. So both the conditions are false. So it will compare if it is true or false. But both the conditions are false. So it will give us false. So this way or operator or logical operators are used in logical operators we have seen and operators and we have seen or operators or operators are indicated by two pipe symbols and and operator is used by two ampersand signs similarly there is one more operator in logical operators that is not operator so not operator is used by exclamation and I will check if C is not equal to A or C is not A. So I will check whether C is equal to A or C is A. And if I execute this, it will give me obviously false because C is not equal to A. So this is the way we use the logical operators in Groovy. Now let's learn about the bitwise operators. So the bitwise operators are used to operate on the binary values i'll take this example where int a is equal to 0 b 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 this is one of the binary number which gives us 47 and print ln i'm say, saying that print ln a is equal to what is that number okay so if i execute that it gives me the output as 47 
so this way binary operators are used to work on the binary values next we will learn about the last operator that is the conditional operators so in conditional operators we actually check the conditions two conditions so here i will take one string and one more string i will provide the value to this string as hello world and in next line i will compare in answer as this str is not equal to null and we have learned about logical operators and this str length is greater than 0 str dot length is greater than 0 so if these two conditions are true then say found and if not then say not found and we will print this answer and it has given us the expected output that it is found so this way you can use the conditional operators where you provide some conditions and you check those conditions here we have combined the conditional as well as the logical operator so in this tutorial we have learned about logical operators bitwise operators and conditional operators in groovy language in the next tutorial we will learn about more features of groovy language till then stay tuned and keep learning